a fan gave us this question. Let's react to it together. It's just so easy, okay? Now, this is the diagram we are giving. Let's read the question. We are told the diagram shows a playground in the shape of a trapezium. This is the shape. Trapezium, if you are in US, is called trapezoid. Okay, so they're the same. So we are asked trapezium P, Q, R, S. This is P, this is Q, this is R, this is S. From which a semicircular portion, X, Z, Y. This is X, Z, Y. This portion was removed. Did you see? And we are told P, Q. This means parallel. So P, Q is parallel to S, R. This is P, Q. This is SR. You see the arrow shows you the apparel. And that is why we call it trapezium or trapezoid. Okay, so we are told SR, this line is 314. PS is equal to YQ and is 50. This is PS. This is YQ. You see that the two lengths are the same. And we are told PS is equal to QR, which is 200. This is PS. This is QR. You see that the lengths are the same. And we are also told angle PSR, the angle is on the center. So the angle at center is this angle and the one formed at R. You see, these two angles are the same and is given as 60. So here is 60. Here is also 60. I hope it's understood. Now the question says calculate the perimeter and the area of this particular playground. Now, before we answer this question, I'm going to give you a little demonstration of what this looks like, okay? Now, this is that your playground. You know, we said it's a trapezium. So this is your trapezium or your trapezoid when it was complete. Did you see that? But you observe that a semicircular part was taken off from this particular shape. So this is that part that was taken off. Did you see it is a semicircle? I hope you can see it. So you see, this is the new playground. So if this becomes the new playground, the question says, calculate the perimeter. Now, how do we calculate perimeter? So perimeter simply means to find the distance around this particular shape. Did you see it? Just watch what I'm showing you. So when you calculate this distance along the shape, it gives you the perimeter. So how do we calculate this? Let's do that together. Now, when you look at this question, you see from here to here is given as 50. Here to here is 200. From here to here is 314. From here to here is given. From here to here is given. But we don't know this particular length. And that is what we should find so that we add it to these ones. And it gives us the perimeter. So how do we calculate this? I'm going to teach you what to do. So let's take some parts off. Now let's find this first so that we can add it to the ones given. Now to get that, you see that this was the part that was taken out. It's a semicircular portion. And you see, remember that when you have a circle, the outer part of the circle is the circumference or what we call the perimeter, okay? Now, when you choose to take some part of this circumference out, it's called an arc. And if you observe, the question says it is a semicircular. That means it's half. It's half of it that was taken. Did you see? And if you take half of it out, what do you do to get this particular length? If you want to get this particular length, you need to get the total circumference of a circle, the total perimeter of a circle, and divide it by two. It gives you the one that was left. Did you see it? So to get this particular part, this part, we are going to have it as, let's get the circumference or the perimeter of a circle. And you know that the circumference or the perimeter is given as, so we have it, the circumference, our perimeter is given as 2 pi r, okay? Now, to answer this, but remember, because it's semi, you divide it by 2. I hope you are with me. So this we can't say. We are going to be left with pi multiplied by the radius. But the question is, how do we find the radius? To get the radius, the radius is from the center down to that particular circumference. So how do we get the radius? To get it, we need to get the total length of this particular place. Did you see? So let's get the total length. And to get this total length, what do you do? You see that from here to here is 314. So we can choose to reconstruct this. Let's reconstruct this. So let's reconstruct. Let's get this part from here to here. 
if we get this length and also reconstruct this part, just watch. And you get from here to here and also get from here to here. You see that it will help you to know the total length of PQ. And when you know the total length of PQ, you can find the length of XY to answer this question. So let's do that together. So to get this particular length, we can call this M. So to find length SM, what do you do? Let's bring that shape out. So this is what we have, okay? This is the shape we have. Here is forming a right angle. It's a perpendicular line. So it's forming a right angle here. So this is our M, this is S. This is giving us 200, okay? So we have 200 centimeters. And the angle formed here is 60. So to find this particular length, we are going to have it as, if you observe, you can find this using your trig ratio. So because you are having an angle and a side. So we're using our trig ratio, this is giving us the hypotenuse, okay? This angle is formed here. So the opposite, this is the opposite. This side we are looking for is the adjacent. So which one will you use? The A and the H use your cosine. So we're going to have cos of 60 degrees is equal to the adjacent, which is what we are looking for, divided by this hypotenuse. Did you see that? So to get this particular A, we are going to have, this will be, we cross multiply. 200, we multiply cos 60. And when we multiply the adjacent side, so when you multiply this, it's going to give us 200 because 60 is giving us 0 0.5. So when you multiply this and this, it gives 100 centimeter. Did you see that? So this particular length is 100 centimeters. And you know, this is, here is 60, here is 60. The length is the same. So whatever line you, whatever side you have is the same with what you have here. So if here is 100, here will also be 100. Did you see it? So what it means is that if this is 100 and this is 100, we can now adjust it so that we have it as, since from here to here is 314, from here to here is 100 centimeters, and from here to this place is also 100. What will be from this length to this length? What do you do? We can just quickly do 314 minus 100 minus this 100. And when you subtract this, it gives you, this gives you 114. So this length is 114 centimeters. Did you see? So if from here to here is 114, this is also 114 because you see it's forming a rectangle. So if from here to here is the same as 114, can we find this length x, y? Yes. So to get x, y, what we do is the total PQ, which is the same from here to here as 114. Okay. Then minus from here to here is 50. Then from here to here is 50. So when you subtract this, it gives you 14 centimeter. So line x, y is giving us 14 centimeter. This, this length. So if that length is 14, we see that the total of this is 14. So here will be, the radius will be what? Half of it, which is 7 centimeters. So if this length is 7 centimeters, we can now calculate the circumference of this particular shape. And to do that, let's work it out here to have the circumference. We give us, we see we, we stopped at pi r. So it's going to be pi multiply and we are told that pi is 22 over 7 okay then multiply it by the radius the radius is 7 did you see so this we cancel and we are having 22 centimeter so the this particular length we are looking for is 22 please don't use 14 this part was taken off so the one we are looking for is the arc okay so this arc we have found the length as 22 centimeter. So that's the one you will use. So to calculate the perimeter of the entire shape, we are going to have, this is perimeter will be equal to 200 plus the whole of this length is 100, is 314. Okay. 
Then from here to here is 200. Then from here to here is 50. Okay. Plus this particular arc, this arc here, you see we got it as 22. I hope you are with me. Please remember we said you are not including this. It is the part that was cut off. We used it to find this. Okay. So this from here to here gave us 50. I hope it's understood. So quickly add this up. It's going to give us 836 centimeters. That is for perimeter. Now to answer this, what do you do? To find the area, you still remember we said is a trapezium that has a circular part that was taken off, okay? A semicircular part was taken off from this particular trapezium. So to calculate the area, what do you do? The area will simply be the area of the total trapezium, okay? Just do the area of the total trapezium, then take away the cut off part. This was the part that a semicircular part that was cut off. So you can just complete this. So you do this area of a trapezium, okay? Minus the area of this particular cut off, which is just your area of a semicircle. I hope this is understood. So how do we calculate the area of a trapezium? I will tell you, the area of a trapezium is given as area is half, then A plus B multiplied by the height, and the area of a semicircle is given as pi R squared divided by two. So to calculate this, you remember that the whole length from here to here is given as 314. And we also saw that, that from this point to this point is given as 114. So we can still restate it to have it from here to here is given as 314 centimeters. From here to here, which is PQ, is given as 114 centimeters. But we need to know this. This is the height of this trapezium. So how do we calculate this particular height? Remember, the question gave us this place as angle 60 degrees. So how do we calculate this height? To do that, you also remember that this is given as 200 centimeters. Okay, here is 200 centimeters. So to calculate this height, what do you do? You don't need to be scared. Just remember, if you bring that shape out, this is what you have. Okay, this is the height you are looking for. And this is the angle, 60 degrees. This place is given as 200. So what do you do? This place, this is forming a right triangle. And when you have a right triangle, the side opposite to this is your hypotenuse side. The side opposite to the angle is your opposite side. You see, the remaining side here becomes the adjacent. So when you have, when you are looking for the height, which is your opposite, and you are giving the hypotenuse, which is 200, you don't have business with this. Which one do you use? Use your basic trick, which is your so that has O and H. So we're going to have sine of 60 degrees is equal to the opposite is the height we are looking for divided by this hypotenuse, which is 200. So what do you do to find this height we have? So we can make this to be over one, we cross multiply. So we're going to have the height, height times one is height. Then we do 200 multiplied by sine 60 degrees. Quickly do that we have height is equal to, so we have 173.205, okay? So that's what we have as the height in centimeter. So we can quickly say that this height, so our edge is given as 173.20. So we're going to use this height to now calculate the area of this particular trapezium and then do this and subtract. So to do that, we have area of trapezium is equal to half multiplied by, then add these two. So we're going to have 314. Any of them can be A. So this can be A and this be B. So we have this add this. Okay, so we're going to have 114 plus 314. 
then multiplied by the height. What did we get as the height? This is the height, 173.205. I hope you are with me. So this gives us half, okay? Add this, we are going to have. So let's use multiply. This will give us 428. Then multiplied by this. Do you see that? So let's quickly queue this into the calculator to have 37,065.87 squared centimeter. That is for the trapezium. So let's get the area of the semicircle. So to do that, just use this formula. It's going to give us, remember the question has given us pi as 22 divided by 7 multiplied by the radius of this particular shape from what we did earlier is given as 7 centimeter. Okay, so we're going to have 7, then raise it to the power of 2 divided by 2 because it's semi. So this 7, we take 1 7 out. Okay, we are left with 22 multiplied by 7 divided by 2. So this we cancel this out. This will be 11. So we're having 11 times 7. So the area will give us 77 squared centimeter. Now to calculate the area of the particular shape, what do we do? Like we said, you do the area of trapezium minus this. So let's subtract it to have 37,065.87 minus this is 77. So quickly subtract that we are going to have 36,988.87 squared centimeter. So this becomes the area of the playground. I hope this really helps you a lot. Don't forget to let us know how much. Share this so that others will learn with you. I will see you in our next class. You can also ask questions in the comments. I'll be there with you. Thank you for engaging. Bye-bye.